Hello everyone, welcome to Sabre Virtual Demo, our brief videos explaining different features of Business Central and related products. In this demo, we will review how user access can be controlled within Business Central using permission sets and user groups, and how you can specify for each user whether they're able to read, modify, or enter data within each database or environment. Here is a list of topics that will be covered in this session. Permission sets, user groups, user permissions, creating new permission sets, and troubleshooting permission errors. Let's review permission sets in more detail, see which ones can be edited, and the various types of permission settings within Business Central. A permission set is a collection of permissions for specific database objects, and all users must be assigned one or more permission sets before they can access Business Central. Let's take a look at permission sets in Business Central. You can do so by searching for permission sets. Permission sets function as containers of permissions so that you can easily manage multiple permissions in one record. Note that Business Central solution typically contains a number of predefined permission sets that are added by Microsoft or by your service provider. These permission sets are of type system or extension. You cannot create or edit these types of permission sets or the permissions within them. However, you can copy them to define your own permission sets and permissions. Permission sets that users create as new or as copies are of the type user defined and can be edited. To create new permission set from scratch, Choose the New Action button. On the new line, fill in the fields as necessary. When you have created a permission set, you must add the actual permissions. To do so, click on the Permissions Action button. To copy a permission set, you can also use a Copy function to quickly carry all the permissions of an existing permission set to a new permission set. Permission sets comprise of a bunch of different permissions. In order to look at the permissions within a permission set, you can do so by clicking on the Permissions Action tab. And this will take you to a page which will list all the existing permissions within a permission set. On this screen here, you will notice that our permission set that we just copied over has a bunch of different object IDs assigned to it. And then, permissions as well. You can see here that for payment terms, the user has read access. However, they do not have access to insert a new record in the payment terms table. They can modify and they do have access to delete. If the permission is blank, this means that the user does not have access to that table. In Business Central, there is also something called indirect permissions. You can give users access to an object, but only through another object. This is called giving indirect permission. What this means is that the user cannot directly insert a record within the GL entry table in this case, but if they did need access to it through another table, then the user would have access to do so. Next, let's take a look at user groups in Business Central. What are user groups? How can you create a new user group? And how can new users be added to a user group? Let's take a look at user groups in Business Central by searching for user groups. You can set up user groups to help you manage permission sets for groups of users in your company. You start by creating a user group. Then you assign permission sets to the group to define which objects users of the group can access. When you add users to the group, the permission sets defined for the group will apply to the users. Permission sets assigned to a user through a user group stays synchronized so that a change to the user group permissions are automatically propagated to the user. If you remove a user from a user group, 
the involved permissions are automatically revoked. Once you've created your new user group, in order to assign the permission sets, click on Permissions. and search for the permissions you wish to assign to the user. Now that we've reviewed permission sets and user groups, let's take a look at user permissions. All users must be assigned one or more permission sets before they can access Business Central. Let's take a look. In order to look up the user list, simply search for users in Business Central Select the user you wish to edit. Scroll down to the user permission sets and assign the permission set that you wish to add to the user. Also make sure that you assign a company that you wish the user to have access to. If you leave this value blank, the user will have access to all the companies within your environment. Permissions can also be defined by user interfaces. For example, under permissions, you will notice that we have an option to set permissions by user or by user groups. You can select either one of these options to look at a more detailed grid of permissions. Here's what the grid looks like under permission set by user group. There are a couple different ways to create new permission sets in Business Central. One way is to manually add the necessary permissions to the permission sets. The other way is to use a record feature that tracks the permissions in the background and allows you to roll those into a permission set fairly quickly. Let's take a look. Search for permission sets. Select the permission set you wish to edit. Click on permissions. If you only have a handful of object IDs to be assigned, you can do so manually. Or an alternative option is to use the record functionality in Business Central. Simply have a super user carry out the tasks that you want to record permissions for, and the recorder will compile a list of necessary permissions which can be assigned to a permission set. Make sure you click on Start before you have the user carry out the steps. Once the tasks are complete, simply click on Stop, and you will have your list of permissions to be assigned you will find that this option is quite straightforward and a lot less time consuming. Here are some examples of error messages that a user will encounter when trying to perform a task in Business Central or access objects that they do not have permissions to. The first error message here tells you that table data, inventory adjustment entry order, modify access is required. The second error message says, Table data, office add-in setup, read access is required. In order to resolve these errors, you will have to go into the permission sets that we previously discussed and add the required object IDs with the necessary permissions. Thank you for watching our videos. Please follow our channel by clicking here to stay up to date with the latest content or click here for more great videos. Don't forget to visit our website at saberlimited.com. We look forward to seeing you next time.